Hello everybody, it's EverAltable4 for another episode of Yoshi's Story. In the last episode, we lost a third of our party to lava because I hate it. And Blarks are stupid and invincible and Yoshis aren't, even though they pretend they are. Now, we'll take on page 3, the Tall Tower. Page 3, the Summit, technically, but the Tall Tower board. That looks so lonely and empty, but let's use my favorite Yoshi. Because the Tall Tower doesn't have that much death. Anyway, just listen to the music for a second. It's like a violin type sound, and uh, it's very calming. Like, that's, like, uh, I mean, I've, I've said a lot about this game, like, a lot of the music in this game is calming, but I, that's one of the things I just love about it. Also, like, the main mechanic you can see here, like, in most of the areas are springs. The big springs, if you jump at the ends, they can send you up high. Little springs are just for a short distance, and, you know, you just use the principles of physics here. You know, if you go at that part of the spring, that's not going to do much, but, like, this part of the spring will. And, but there are a lot of secret areas in this board, actually. So, you know, you just want to take a look, and that, you know, that, that, I was about to say Yoshi. I don't know why I'm so, like, set on confusing the word Yoshi and Shy Guy. But, uh, yeah, that, that Shy Guy had a... Oh, God, you sound like a puppy. What's the point of being down here? I guess for more fruit. But like I said, I'm going to try to get melons. Um... Although, I think last time I said I was just gonna... No, that was just for the Bowser board, right. For Baby Bowser's Castle, I am going to be, uh, you know, just getting whatever I can. Because I, otherwise I would be dead. But, uh, yeah, here's our heart, which guarantees us going to the next thing, so no worries about that. Also, if you notice, the heart fully heals you. This might have been the first time that I got a heart when I was on, like, lower health. So, yeah, heart fully heals you. So... Like, if, you're, if you think that a board is going to give you trouble, and you, like, just want to, you know, save the hearts for, like, you know, recovering at a certain point. I don't know. Like, let's say on this board, you know, you fight a mini-boss after you get all the fruit. So, uh, you know, what you might want to do is get 29 fruit, and then uh, get the heart just to heal up and get the last fruit. And these little buggers are instant eggs, pretty much. That's all they are. They just fly around and are annoying and make chirpy chirp sounds, but they just give you eggs. No health, no nothing, just eggs. They're even like pretty much the same shape as the egg, so all Yoshi has to do is cover it in that shell. So it's, you know, very, very small processing time and uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's a, uh, it's a good buy. It's, you know, <laughs> and they also make funny sounds when you step on them. I mean, all the enemies make that sound, but still, boop, boop. it's just cute. Did I mention that this game is cute? I don't think you uh, you guys understand that. Anyway, let's uh, shoot ourselves up. Not with heroin! Yeah, and also remember to stop yourself there. <gasps> it's a white shy guy! I thought I lost you in the last board, but now we can be friends forever and you can revive some of my uh, guys that I needlessly killed, even though I also killed you in the last episode, and I'm kind of sorry about that because I... I think that you're more valuable than both the pink and red Shy Guy Yoshi. Not Shy Guy, Yoshi combined. Uh, what else do we got over here? I just want to see what's to the left. To the left. Everything I own is in a box over here, so. You get it? Because because that's a, that's a thing. And we're so happy! Oh, all those coins appeared there, but I don't want them. I know you're like, but Sefi coins, and I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. Also, I really should be killing the enemies because you do get points for that. Hello. Oh, this. This is actually kind of fun. Leaf surfing. Leaves are flimsy, so watch your balance. All the surf breezes. Okay. So you jump on this, and you you just you press left and right to uh, to balance the surfing, and it's kind of cool. It's actually going to be a, a race thing later with that. So. Um, yeah, so it's kind of cool just reaching certain destinations and whatever. Let's check this out. Whoop! I love the sound effects in this game. Oh, okay, wonderful. Here's a, here's a race. You said race! 
the faster you blah 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 blah. It's almost like I was just talking about this. Yeah, so let's just kind of try to... Like that. Just, just tap it slightly. Don't care. Just, just don't care at all about the coins. I also like how Yoshi's just like doing some meditation thing over there. But yeah, there's a long distance. If you fall, you obviously lose. But let's try to actually like... Oh, come on. Don't eat my... Yes! Haha! -ha! I really thought I would lose that last one. And let's jump off of that. Ha 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 ha! H! The best letter in the alphabet aside from the, uh, all the other ones. But yeah. Okay, so far so awesome. I gotta say. Two so happies. And uh... I think we went backward a little bit. I'm not sure. But yeah, like I said. Uh, I am. I am. Uh, I do like that. But I'm not so, uh, I don't really care about any of the other stuff that we would be getting. Any of the coins or whatever. Uh, I leave it up to an expert to do a coin run. Also, these are kind of like the, actually, they're exactly like the balls from the last thing. Except now they're suspended in air and they don't lead you to lava. And that's a Raphael the Raven. Oh, you are so cute, Raphael the Raven. Let's try to get up on that thing. Uh, Raphael the Raven was a, uh enemy and boss in uh, the original Yoshi's Island. Not original, like the, the other Yoshi game, Yoshi's Island. Um, he was also uh, had a part in uh, Paper Mario, which is kind of cool. Awesome. Okay. They're kind of like throwing the melons at us. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. And now we're so happy. <laughs> Let's just kill things. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, let's not be reckless. And let's not eat that either, because that will hurt us. I kind of like the, uh, the rocked out mute version of this isn't that great, but Tiki Butterfly, when it's pink it tastes sweet, when it's blue it tastes bitter. We've seen these guys already also. Um, so yeah. They're only good when they're pink, otherwise they hurt you. Uh, what was I saying before? Oh yeah, and that, 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 yeah. Wow, I didn't walk away from that in time. That, but it's nice little 3D graphics there. And there's a Raphael the Raven comes sneaking up on me like, like the little raven he is. He's kind of adorable. Yes, yeah, so he had a part in Paper Mario and there's no shy guys operating these things. It's total anarchy. Let's kind of like try to avoid that. I wonder if we can... Uh, jump over the chain. I don't know. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't in this game. It's best not to assume that you'll be able to avoid something in that way. Uh, okay, let's go up here. I just want to see if there's like anything this way. No. Let's, let's use the, uh, just want to see if there's anything this way. Um, let's use the jump. No, I saw a melon there. I refuse to. No melon left behind. It's kind of like no Pikmin left behind, no coin left behind. Well, no melon left behind. Wow, that, that, no, that, that's, yeah. Oh, aha, okay, that, that leads to a heart. Wonderful. Oh, so close there, so close. Let's try that again. Oh, come on, I wanted to shoot it. <laughs> come on. Okay, let's let's not get our head bashed in by by objects. Come on. No, no, let's 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 see if we can do this a bit easier, maybe by like actually rolling off the the thing or something. How does Raphael stick to that? Yeah, this is so much friggin' easier. Wow. Wow, wow, Sefi, wow. Anyway, so far so good on our melon run. I uh, probably missed a few already somewhere, but eh, who cares? I mean, honestly. Oh yeah, now we have clay again. I just love the claymation style. It's just it, like some people are like they they get annoyed by this, but like I don't know. It reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> like just this is the like the kind of like um like uh, cartoons that like. Like, stuff that I liked as a kid, and, uh, it's just cool seeing it again. 
Um, is there a way to kill you, Raphael the Raven? No. Okay. Um, yeah, oh, okay. I, I love it how I sound, like, so... Uh, surprised by some of this. Yeah, so if you if you get all the coins in those uh, question mark boxes, you get a melon out of it. Pretty much get a melon from doing anything in this game, so just assume that if it's something that you have to do, you'll get a melon. <laughs> like, like if it's, if it's something that's not part of the regular board, it'll produce a melon. Uh, something up here? No? Okay, fine. Oh, it's a Mr. Miss Warp. Wait, are we at... Give me a happy. I actually don't like the... the. I think I said this earlier, but I don't like the rocked out version of this uh, board. It's just not to my taste. Are we at the beginning of the again? Beginning of the again? Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, let's just get our favorite fruit now. Um, I don't think that I... I mean, we went through the whole board, and I pretty much got all the melons I could find. Obviously, there were six more melons somewhere, but uh, I'd rather just get the episode over with that rather than go on a uh, fruitlessly pursuing a non-domesticated ornithoid if you catch my drift if you have no idea what I just said then just like google it or something I used big words to explain a uh, societal phrase more watermelon yeah so you don't get extra points for the watermelon but you know, it's my favorite fruit. Why should I avoid it? Why should I? And yeah, we still have the, uh, the mid-boss to take care of, so... Uh, hopefully we'll find those soon before the board gets... Before the video gets too long. I got hit by a baby bird. That, I, that its only purpose is for me to eat and turn into an egg. Like, what's up? What's up with that? It's like airline food. There's something up with it. But there we go. And we still have our white shy guy, which is nice. And who do we have? A... Okay. An invisible guy. Inviso. Peekaboo, who are you? Peekaboo, can't find me. Yeah, um, yeah I, I kind of can. You're like, you're kind of right there. Let's go get some eggs, maybe. You. Aha. Uh -huh. You pretty much have to look for the, like, little disturbance in the air. Like that. Yeah. So it's not very hard. I think the bigger threat is the, all the little guys coming at you. Um. Do you want to, like, maybe go after me? Yeah, see? Like, he's right there. So, like, he's easy to find. You just have to stand still. But the birds are what's the real problem. Which is kind of pathetic when little baby birds that only serve as cannon fodder are more dangerous than you. It's just something to think about, man. Anyway, i definitely getting a better high score. Even if I get a thousand in the next three, I'll still almost make it. But yeah, that's pretty awesome. Because I was doing like 3,000, 4,000 each. Very nice. But yeah, let's, uh, let's take, see this. The Yoshi saw a tall tower. Maybe they could see a happy ending from there. After a tough climb, the Yoshis found Inviso waiting for them at the top. With a closer look, they beat the invisible ghost and saw a castle far away. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. Thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been Sephiroth Level 4 with Yoshi's Story. Next episode, we'll be back in the jungle. And this time, we'll be taking on... The Jungle Puddle. Oh, God, I hate that one. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.